Hey everybody, it's Don Blackburn with Indoor Man. And this week I'm coming to you with a couple of special guests. I uh, wanted to introduce you to a couple of guys that uh, I got introduced to myself here just in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I think they have a really unique idea, a really interesting idea for a business uh, that they're just getting off the ground. So uh, I thought you might want to meet them. And that's Mitch Case and Ben Williams from More Than a Meal, as you can see in, on Ben's background there. Welcome, guys. Thanks for doing the show. Cool. Thanks, yeah. Thanks Don. Thanks for having us on here. Hey, no problem. Uh, like I said, I thought it was an interesting concept. And full disclosure, you guys are not clients of Active Logic yet. Uh, and I, I threw in yet. Notice I, I threw that in. But uh, I saw that. <laughs> no, I did. Uh, I, I do like uh, helping people out, though, that are getting businesses off the ground. I think it's a great idea uh, that you have. So, uh, why don't you kind of introduce you guys? Why don't you each of you take some time, introduce yourselves, and tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, cool. Uh, so, one, thanks for having us. I'm Ben. Um, uh, Mitch and I actually met uh, freshman year at University of Missouri when we were studying engineering in the school there, uh, as you can see in Mitch's background. But, yeah, um, you know, worked uh, civil engineering for a bit and now at a VC firm full time. But um, as you mentioned, we, we kicked off this new company, uh, More Than a Meal, and excited to kind of go through today with you kind of what it's all about and uh, why we're here. So, and Mitch, how about you? Yeah, yeah, Mitch. And uh, I grew up in the Jefferson City area, but I've been in Kansas City now for close to 10 years and just really falling in love with this city. And uh, yeah, you know, my background's been mechanical engineering. Uh, one of the things that I've just really enjoyed are systems and processes. And that's kind of led us to this point of where Ben and I got together after college and had this idea and we're able to use our kind of technical brains to come up with a, a simple solution to something that uh, can really serve other people in our community and make a difference in a lot of people's different lives. That's cool. And, and what I liked about it was it, it kind of offers a, an alternative to some of the traditional gift giving and, and corporate gift ideas. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the company. Yeah, I'll go ahead and kind of take that one and okay. give you a little bit of why we got started and how it got started. So uh, my wife and I had our first kid a little over three years. Well, actually, it will be three years in about eight days. So we're going to be celebrating three years soon. And uh, we didn't have a very easy pregnancy and birthing story. My wife ended up getting preeclampsia, which is a really high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, I got rushed into the ER. We didn't have an emergency C-section, but ultimately ended in that C-section. And after the birth, her blood pressure carried on for a couple months. So it was just really kind of down out. She's a very outgoing person. And she was never in a point of like depression, postpartum depression, but she just wasn't herself. And we had some friends and family that came over and helped us out, picked up after us. And this was all pre COVID. So we could have people in and out of our house right. all we wanted. Sure. It was amazing and helpful, but um, it was probably about a month or two, you know, I'm getting ready to go back to work. She's still trying to figure out her new normal while fighting this blood pressure on pain meds, recovering from surgery. And we had some friends that dropped off a, a meal kit that was already chopped and diced and prepped for us. And all she had to do was dump it into a slow cooker. And I just remember coming home from work that day and she was just like, I really felt like I helped out today. So it was kind of that turning point. Right. I just figured from you know, a lot of the push that I've been getting from my faith to use the talents that we've been given to better other people uh, we just kind of use some of those systems and processes to figure out what we can do to make that same moment for somebody else that's struggling in that time. Uh, we started that company two years ago and it was originally called Mommy Meals. And we worked really kind of going after the, the, the consumer side. And I'm going to let Ben kind of talk a little bit more about you know, where we're at today and why we've made this shift and this change. Mm -hmm. But we just recognized that a lot of people were, were needing this, this help. And um, it's been a really exciting journey. It's not been easy. There's been ups and downs. Ben and I uh, have had our differences in this as well. And I think that's what makes us a really good uh, company and a really good team mm -hmm. is that you know, our ideas can be different, but we get to vet them with each other and make the right changes as we go along. So, right. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Sounds good. So the new, the, the original Mommy Meals was directed more direct to consumer, right? Direct to the individual. 
Whereas correct, correct. Now yeah, we were really trying to go after the the new parents, the moms, helping them out. It was still a it's still a gift idea in that that perspective, but um, it was really challenging. As you know, you make one phone call to one person, mm -hmm. and you're doing business to consumer, and we're trying to hit all the masses, and it was just it was overwhelming and it was difficult. Sure. Well, Ben, talk a little, little bit more about it. so the new direction, the corporate going after the corporate accounts. This. Yeah, sure. So, um, so kind of even backing up a little bit more, right? So I think when people think meal packages, they think kind of for yourself, right? So like the Blue Aprons or um, mm -hmm. some of those others. And I think that's so that's, that's great, right? Because that term is, um, new. I mean, it, it's, it's now normal to get, you know, food in the mail and then cook it at home. Um, so that's great that that's there. Um, and then kind of where we come in is it's where to help to for you to buy this to give to someone else, right? Um, and so as mentioned, alluded, you know, first it was really focused towards like, you know, new parents, but it still can be. Uh, but kind of what we found through that kind of first phase of the company was, you know, people um, could also use this not only for new births, but maybe that there's a new life event or something's going on and someone just really wants to be there for that other person uh, to inevitably help strengthen that relationship that they have with them, right? And so that's kind of where, um, uh, more than a meal comes in is to giving something a meal kit or package to someone else right and then specifically um, what we've seen is with other companies you know be a micro small medium-sized companies where um, you know when it comes to employee engagement and then also really being there uh, with the people on your teams it's also another great venue and channel to do that aside from you know, giving flowers or, you know, uh, gift certificates or something like that. Um, and, and, uh, and, you know, it's, you know, just kind of fulfilling the orders and just having those special messages that people send to each other. Um, as Mitch said, it's really fulfilling and to know that like that's really being driven part of the company. Um, and also more importantly, um, it's been a blast and a lot of fun to do so. Um, so specifically, you know, what we're looking at is with, uh, you know, let's call it uh, more like helping out companies uh, serve that, is through going through different meal package kits. And then from there, you know, a company can buy that and then we can just track that and they can use that how they want to send to their different employees or clients even, right. um, especially during this time um, during COVID or, and even afterwards, right. Where you want to be a part of someone's special moments in their life um, and just kind of help them do that. So that's kind of what we're, what we're after right now. Right. And, and uh, I, like you said, at this time, especially, I mean, when everybody's still a lot of people at least are still working from home and not going to the office and interacting with management and with coworkers and stuff. I think it's a, it'd be a great idea right now, you know, as a, as a manager or as a business owner, just to kind of send that out uh, yeah. way yeah. better than a dozen roses in my opinion. But then again, <laughs> I don't know. Roses Never been a great. flower guy. I don't know. I'm just, uh, there's some about pot about. roast. Uh, I'm, I'm more about the pot roast. So, yeah, that's uh, so we've kind of had this this tagline that we've been using. We've had a couple, I guess, but uh, one of those was, yeah, you know, flowers are great. Thinking of you cards are nice, but the meals are memorable. So, really, just trying to focus hard on, um, you know, people are already spending a lot of money on clients. You know, I don't know how many times I've even taken out clients and spent fifty dollars on a lunch just between the two right. of us. Um, I really truly believe to really deepen those relationships and strengthen those relationships, you need to get beyond just the client. And if you can take care of some of their most valued relationships, for example, their family, that's where you really start to be remembered. If your spouse can remember who sent that meal, Huge. now you're talking about a deep relationship. So yeah. uh, you're going to be top of mind. Your company is going to be known that they're taking care of their their family, like that's where we're really seeing the power of what more than a meal can provide because it is just a little bit different. It's unique. Yeah. And, yeah. and really, honestly, uh, we've seen through the, the real case of sending these meals that it really strengthens these relationships. I can see that. And, you know, I told my wife about it and she's all about it. She would like you to send a couple of meals over immediately because then it's easy for her to cook. <laughs> uh, no, active that's... logic is not a client of ours yet. <laughs> <laughs> soon to be i'm talking i'm talking to the owner I'm, i'll get that done yeah and, and that's awesome and, and I, I was checking it out and, and the meal selections pretty pretty robust meal selection and not uh, it's all high-end quality stuff right absolutely oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, ben. 
Okay, yeah, absolutely. So it's all locally sourced ingredients. Um, all the meal options are five ingredients or less. And then more importantly, um, five minutes or less of prep time to actually, you know, execute and start cooking the food. So it's simple, easy, fresh, delicious, um, no dicing, no chopping. Um, and to your point, there's, uh, I think we have six or seven options, um, a couple mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, dietary restrictions, ones too, um, but inevitably, you know, enough to serve. And with that, each meal package serves around three to four different meals too. So as Mitch said, the whole That's family, good. you know, however many that might be, or right. whoever, however many you want to have for leftovers or whatnot, um, that's also an option. I didn't realize it was locally sourced. That's, that's a great feature. You know, that's, yep. it's good to support Kansas City business and, you know, local merchants. So great yeah, idea. Yeah, you know, it's, I mean, it's fresh, you know. Right. Yeah. You're not flying it in from the coast or anything. That's, that's a great yeah, idea. Right. Well, tell everybody, uh, how do they find you? Yeah, Don, that's a that's a good question. Before we do that, real quick, you know, as as okay. more than a meal is a, a giving company to to others, that that's a core component of our business as well. So we actually donate back five oh. percent of the cost of every meal to a nonprofit called the Blue Dot Project, uh, okay. which is a nonprofit organization that's helping raise awareness and money for postpartum depression. Oh, you know, I mentioned okay. my my wife did not go through that. And I know there's, uh, there's lots of stigmas around uh, being able to talk openly about that. So they're really pushing hard to make that a normal conversation. And we've seen some actual like steps forward to uh, mm -hmm. gaining ground around that. So it's been really nice that we've been able to donate each year to them. And we just really are hoping we can donate more and more every year. So it's a great cause. Um, but yeah, so best ways to get a hold of us. Um, obviously, our website is a really good source, uh, which is more than a meal co, co .com. Um, You can come on there and check it out. We have a business packages tab. But as Ben said, from a, a consumer perspective, you can come on and you can buy a, a one off meal or two meal, three meal packages. So we, we're not saying no to the consumer, but uh, we are focusing hard on making sure business packages are, are available to those corporations. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram, all at more than a meal co. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I'm happy if anybody wants uh, more information, you can email me at Mitch C at more than a meal co.com. And from there we can kind of take conversations. If you want to learn a little bit more, we'd happy, Ben and I'd be happy to jump on calls, video calls like this, just to yeah. uh, ask questions, teach you a little bit, you know, get to know us as, as humans as well. And just see that, you know, there is a true passion for what we're doing and we're, we're really hoping sure. to make a difference here in Kansas city. And, okay. you know, we definitely wanted to grow it outside of Kansas city too, but we're going to, we're going to figure it out here in Kansas city first. Yeah. You're going to have to change that on the website because it says serving Kansas city. You're going to have to expand that out soon. <laughs> well, outstanding guys. I really appreciate your time. Uh, I know you, uh, I know both of you are on LinkedIn as well. So uh, for those of you watching this on LinkedIn, bounce over and check out their, uh, their sites on LinkedIn and, and connect with them. But uh, thanks for taking the time out and sharing with the, with the audience guys. If you're watching this video, go check out their website go check out the company. It's a great local business just getting off the ground. And I think it's a great idea. So until next week, this is Don from Indoor Man and I am out.